Hi all, welcome to ABC Med. Today we are going to discuss about thalamic syndrome in an easy and a very uh, simple manner. Okay, so firstly we have the definition what is thalamic syndrome. So thalamic syndrome it is a disturbance of emotional responses to sensory experience. So for having a syndrome we will be definitely having a cause. So the next side heading of this uh, thalamic syndrome is the cause. So what is the cause we will see. So it is uh, due to, it is a thrombotic blockage. So damage to posteroventral and posterolateral nuclei as a result of thrombotic blockage of thalamogeniculate branch of postero, posterior cerebral artery. So when there is a blockage in thalamogeniculate branch of posterior cerebral artery it will result in a uh, damage to posteroventral and posterolateral nuclei. So that is the cause for thalamic syndrome. So I'll make it simple. If there is any block in uh, uh, thalamogeniculate branch of posterior cerebral artery, it will lead to thalamic syndrome. How it will lead? Because it will be damaging the posteroventral and posterolateral nuclei. Now we will see the symptoms. The main important thing we should see is in thalamic syndrome, the uh, due to the decusation of the fiber, the symptoms will be seen in the opposite side. As we said, we have posteroventral nuclei and posterolateral nuclei is getting damaged. We have sensory symptoms and motor symptoms. So, what if uh, when posteroventral nucleus is uh, involved, it leads to sensory symptoms symptoms and if uh, posterolateral nuclei is involved it leads to motor symptoms so we can divide three three like in sensory symptoms we have three things and in motor symptoms also we are having three things so what are the sensory symptoms firstly we can see astrognosis it occurs due to tactile localization and tactile discrimination so what is astrognosis astrognosis means if we are saying the subject to close their eyes they will be not able to guess by closing their eyes that what is the object in their hand they cannot understand they cannot guess so the next so astrognosis it is due to what tactile localization and tactile discrimination now we can see thalamic phantom limb like it's a very nice name right thalamic phantom limb it is due to the loss of uh, kinesthetic sensation what is thalamic phantom limb same way if you are saying the subject to close they close his or her eyes and they are not able to uh, assume where is their limb okay the position of their limb next thalamic overreaction thalamic overreaction means the threshold of sense of touch pain and temperature their threshold will be become less so even for a minute touch there will be an exaggerated sensation and it will be disagreeable now we will see the motor symptoms and motor symptoms is due to what? It is due to posterolateral nucleus. So we can see ataxia uh, that is it is the increased muscle tone and profound muscle muscular weakness. It is due to the damage of the cerebellar afferent fibers. And also we can see chorea and athetosis means chorea is a uh, the important thing you should know is if you are saying astrognosis, thalamic phantom limb, you should know what it actually means. So all this will be the symptoms for the sub patients with thalamic syndrome. So uh, chorea, uh, chorea or athetosis. Chorea means it will be a uh, quick uh, movement, quick movement and athetosis is the twisted uh, movement and uh, involvement of fibers coming it will leads to chorea or athetosis now thalamic hand or athetoid hand it is the posture there will be a, uh, a significant posture it there will be a remarkable posture means the the subject the patient hand will be uh, moderate flexion in the wrist and hyperextended in their fingers so uh, the, uh, this is what thalamic syndrome is and the intention tremors are also can be 
seen in uh, such patient thalamic syndrome we said the cause the cause is what it is due to the blockage of the thalamogeniculate branch and uh, of cere posterior cerebellar artery it will leads to damage of postero ventral and postero lateral nuclei symptoms also we said there is sensory symptoms it is due to the involvement of postero ventral nucleus and uh, motor symptom it is due to the involvement of postero lateral nucleus hope you people understood thank you